Clayton gave a lengthy speech to the City Club of Cleveland. We have confirmed with them that, in fact, these are his remarks. It was also covered by Cleveland.com and Breitbart and other news sources. He bragged the politicians were more moral, more moral than doctors that save our lives, lawyers, and even Indian chiefs. Can't make this up. Take a listen. Politics should be the most honorable of professions. Those of you who are doctors and lawyers and Indian chiefs in the audience, how can any of you possibly do as much good if you're very good at what you do as I can do if I'm very good at what I can do? I don't know, that's pretty arrogant. I don't think they do more damage than in the swamp. Biden went on to clarify, however, he wasn't particularly... I fortunately had over 3,000 individual contributors. Nobody makes up any more than one percentage point of my total budget. Nobody for one percentage points gets a hold of that ear. Nobody gets any more than a return phone call for that one percent. But it's not because I'm particularly moral. It's because nobody took me seriously. Biden admitting he'll pretty much do anything to maintain power. Wow. But the most shocking parts of the audio involve his statements about women and minorities. In fact, he made several derogatory jokes about women in the audience. They didn't even think they were, oh, they told me you weren't going to be here. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting you to be here. Take a listen. And the only analogy I can really think of is a football analogy, and I apologize to you women in the audience for not being able to think of a more appropriate analogy, but they told me here they didn't want you here anyway. I didn't expect any women to be here. They didn't want women here anyway. I was going to speak to a group of guys. What's that? Like, I came here to talk football. You can't possibly know anything about football. Can you imagine if any Republican said this? The hysteria and the media mob, it would be nonstop. The coverage would be apoplectic, outrage, moral selective outrage as it usually is. There's one more, one point in the speech. Biden singled out a woman in the front row asking a question. Listen to this. Senator, I find you very articulate. May I ask? I find uh, you to very the best... lovely. Come on up front. <laughs> the rest is not very good. That's uh, what I thought. <laughs> That's why. I... That's why I tried to compliment you. Thought I'd scare you out of it. To the, to the best of your knowledge, Senator, do you believe that the Democratic Party has ever been involved in something as atrocious as bugging? Sure. Yes. Yes, I do. But bugging isn't the question, kiddo. Yeah, kiddo. Okay. Oh, uh, they didn't want you here anyway. This is guy is trying to win over, what, social justice warriors in the Democratic Party, and there's more. At one point, then, Senator Biden actually refers to African Americans, but what I see is a horrible, degrading word. Listen for yourself. I think the two-party system, although my Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this, I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the good for the black in the South. Now, that's the current frontrunner of the Democratic Party. We reached out to Biden and the Biden campaign for comment. They have yet responded. Now, remember, 